Hello everybody, this is Mario Casares, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up ACES in Blender. Uh, before we start though, I want to give credit to Daniel, I believe his name is, who is the author of this uh, website 2D. I'm going to be doing this on a Windows, but you can do this on the Mac. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go to my desktop, and then I'm going to find Blender. So I'm using the newest Blender. These are just old ones. You don't have to worry about that. You should only have one. So I'm going to go ahead and right click open file location. It's going to take us to the location of Blender. I'm going to go ahead and click the version number up here, 2.82, data files, color management. And now we're in the folder that we need to be in. And um, you should only have these top three right here. You shouldn't really have these bottom two. Those are just backups that I have. What we're going to be doing now essentially is replacing all of these folders with the ACES files. So you're going to want to back these up because uh, if you don't want to, you're going to end up losing Filmic. You're going to end up losing all of the color management in um, Blender and it's going to change. So if you don't want to completely trash it, then you're going to want to back this up. And if you accidentally delete these, uh, just go ahead and down download Blender again and it should be fine. Um, so we're going to go ahead, I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop and I'm just going to name it backup like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these files and just copy and paste them in here. All right. So now that they're backed up, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just delete all of these. So I'm just going to go ahead, delete. Yes. Continue. All right, so now our color management folder should be empty and we're going to go ahead and replace it with the ACES OCIO config and all of the LUTs and everything that comes with it. So you're going to want to go to this page to download ACES. All the links will be in the description and here are all the different ACES builds. Um, just go ahead and click download zip and then it should download the zip folder. OK, so once you download the file, uh, you should have a zip folder. So you're just going to go ahead, right click and extract all extract. Then it's going to go ahead and extract all the files that you're going to need. All right, so once your files are extracted, um, you're going to go ahead and go inside the folders. So once we're inside the folder, you can go ahead and delete everything besides ACES 1.1, um, unless you have a specific need for these different ones. But um, really, we only need ACES 1.1 since it's the newest one for now at the current time of recording this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those. All right, and then we're going to go into the ACES 1.1. And here are all the files that we're going to need. So all we're going to have to do is go ahead and copy these. And then we're going to go back to our Blender color management folder, and we're going to paste them in just like that. Okay, so now that we made sure that the ACES 1.1 uh, config files are inside the color management folder, um, we're going to go ahead and open that version of Blender. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the render properties tab, go to color management, and you should see display device as ACES. And there should be no other display devices. And that's how you know that you've done this correctly. Um, all this stuff should be like ACES, ACES CG, the view transform should be sRGB. Um, this is how you know that you've done it correctly. All right, so now that we set up ACES in Blender, it is ready for an ACES workflow. I'm not going to be showing you how to work in an ACES workflow, but I want to tell you about a few differences that you'll notice in Blender and some annoyances. So the first thing you'll probably notice immediately is that the viewport is a lot darker. I went ahead and brightened mine um, by going here, Edit Preferences, Themes, 3D View, and then went all the way down until I got to Theme Space gradient colors and uh, this gradient high off. Uh, this is how I changed it. But yeah, so you'll notice that the background gets a lot darker. Another thing that you'll notice is that you have a lot, like a lot more color spaces. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you, like if you bring in an image texture, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and brought in this image texture. And if we go ahead and look at it, we're gonna see that there are a ton of color spaces here. What these are are your IDTs. And so they're your input device transforms. I'm not going to be going over what they are, but I'll show you how to view all of them. Because as you can see, there's literally some that are outside of this view. Um, the way that you actually see all of them is by zooming out. So the more that you zoom out right here, the more that you'll be able to see. And they get really, really, really tiny, but there really is no fix for that right now. So the closer that you are in, uh, the, more, the less that you'll be able to see. Um, but what you can do, what I do is I just start typing in the name of whatever I want. So maybe like something in the utility, I type in you. And then if you go ahead and hit control and scroll, you can cycle through them. And it's not the best solution, but um, it's the only solution uh, for now until we get a menu that <laughs> scrolls or some solution for this. But yeah, if you control and scroll, you can change through them or you can just zoom out until you can see all of them and then pick from here. 
Okay, so another thing you're gonna notice is that all of your display devices and view transforms that you're used to, like Filmic, are gone. Um, there's also no looks. And uh, this is because ACES works in a different way. So before, you probably remember that uh, the display device was sRGB mostly, unless you use one of the different ones, and your view transform was filmic most of the time, or default or standard or whatever it is. But now all of those different settings will be gone. They're going to be replaced with uh, new color spaces, and um, you'll have to do some reading to understand exactly what they do. If you want to know a little bit more about ACES, go ahead and read this article here. It's a really great article that runs through what exactly is happening with ACES. And also, uh, this video right here is um, really great to get a visual on what's going on. All right, so that's it for this video. The reason I wanted to do it is because I saw some comments online about people waiting for ACES to be implemented in a Blender, but this is actually how you do it. So this is how you do it for Nuke. Um, it's a little bit different, but um, it's really just downloading that uh, ACES config file and then installing it yourself. So there's nothing really to wait for. Um, just go ahead. If you want to jump into ACES, just go ahead and do it now. It's been around for a while. So this will definitely work on most versions of Blender as long as it has that color management section and it runs off of the OCIO config. So yeah, that'll be it for me. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below. I don't know a whole lot about ACES, but I have been playing around with it for some months now. So some of the basic things are starting to make sense and that's going to be it. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you for watching and bye.